hello friends welcome to our youtube channel metallurgical engineering so in the last video i have discussed about the decrystallization temperature and and the decrystallization process and the decrystallization nuclei so in this video i will discuss about the factors affecting decrystallization factors affecting recrystallization temperature okay so basically there are six fast factors so first one is time at constant temperature so for this one uh, there is a, a equation that is uh, one over t that is time this small t is time is equal to a e to the power minus q i r t so this t is the temperature okay this t is temperature and this t is time okay so this is called the ironius equation so according to this one 1 over t versus time this is temperature here is temperature okay so if you will see this uh, graph so we'll see like this trend is like this so uh, 1 upon t that is the as the time increases the temperature decreases okay so or 1 over t that is the reverse of temperature that will increase okay next is amount of cold work which affects the decrystallization temperature so increasing amount of cold work that means increasing amount of increasing amount of strain into the material strain increases the metal recrystallizes more at lower temperature at lower temperature that means as soon as, as much as the amount of cold work is more the strain will be more and the met and strain will be more means the driving force will be more so the metal recrystallizes faster or more or you can say readily okay at lower temperature so the main factors affecting the size of recrystallized grain i'll also add here this point that the main factor which affects the size of recrystallized grain so recrystallized grain so what are those factors so first one is degree of freedom second one is size of initial grains okay third one is composition of alloy okay so these are the three factors which affect the size of recrystallized grain right so with this one i would also uh, add uh, one more important fact that uh, during the cold working process uh, we hear about the orange peel effect so what is that orange peel effect so the cold working produces a cold working produces a surface which is rough which is rough and objectionable 
okay frequently actually we should use the word frequently frequently objectionable so that is called the orange peel effect okay so the rough and frequently objectionable that is called the orange peel effect so i would explain here that how the degree of freedom affects the size of decrystallized grain so the more degree of freedom the more degree of freedom so rate of nucleation increases and the final grain size decreases with the increase in the amount of the increase in the amount of deformation okay so this is how the degree of freedom affects the recrystallized grain okay so the first factor is here next during recrystallization rate uh, like the during recrystallization rate of growth is independent of time independent of time but increases with the degree of deformation and annealing temperature okay so these are the uh, facts which are most important for the recrystallized grain size of recrystallized grain okay so till now i explained the two factors affecting the recrystallization temperature first and second now we'll go for the third factor that is purity of metal okay so directly i would say the impure metal if the impure metal is there then recrystallization temperature increases the reason because it's provide pinning effect okay pinning effect or locking effect and grain boundary due to the locking effect this grain boundary migration hinders a lot and increase the recrystallization temperature okay and if the metal is pure that means decreasing recrystallization temperature or decreased recrystallization temperature okay fourth parameter or the fourth factor is original grain size original grain size so if if uh, this original grain size is fine then more grain boundary area then more grain boundary area so it will lead to the more cold work already happened so it will lead to the decreasing recrystallization temperature okay next factor is that is fifth last temperature of cold work okay temperature of cold work if it is more recrystallization temperature will be more how if temperature of cold working process is more so that means more deformation is required okay more deformation is required to get equivalent recrystallization behavior right or the temperature of annealing or temperature of 
aniline should be increased to cause recrystallization process so okay so this is how the temperature of cold work will be more then the recrystallization temperature will also be more okay so these are the five factors first is time at constant temperature with the arrhenius equation explained here second one is amount of cold work and uh, next third one is purity of a uh, metal and original grain size and temperature of cold work so kindly stay connected and thank you like share subscribe our youtube channel thank you